Hey Aries, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to your April tarot reading. And for those of you who are celebrating a birthday, happy birthday. For those who just celebrated a birthday, happy birthday. Um, if you've never been to my channel before, uh, the whole channel is dedicated to supporting you, giving you love and guidance by way of tarot. If this reading does not resonate, consider checking out your moon or your rising sign. And that being said, let's get into it. I would love to pray for you if you'd like to say hi in the comment section or even send me an emoji in the comment section, something I can I can uh, focus my energy on and I encourage everybody else to join in. Aries, Aries for April 2024. Only taking the cards that volunteer. If they fly out in reverse, that's how we read them for Aries, April 2024. <laughs> you guys always get like... The five of wands, you get the five of swords. Okay, okay. I mean, every single reading, what are you guys up to? I feel all of you should be lawyers. <laughs> fantastic business people, fantastic lawyers, Aries make. All right, you guys, what are you up to? So April is going to be about moving forward in an aggressive way, but it's not gonna be for everybody, okay, you guys? But I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I'm always straight up with you. So Aries, when you guys are, have, are a force in a competitive situation, it's almost like, uh, to, I'm stereotyping a little bit, but for a lot of you guys, I mean, even for the more quiet Aries, people don't see it coming because there's this trigger point where in the face of competition, if there's anybody who doubts them, if there's anybody that says you can't do this or you're wrong, there's your trigger point. Aries step into like beast mode. <laughs> so April's about beast mode, you guys, okay? And um, there's almost this, there's this intense energy behind it of like, Fuck it, if I'm wrong or right, I don't care. I'm going forward, you know? Um, <laughs> and uh, so, what's the, so you've got all these options. So it's, it's not all that glitters is gold, but another way I wanna say this, with all these options, your imagination can play an, an enormous role. So it's important through the month of April to practice discernment and communication, getting all the facts right, getting them all straight. Um, you're gonna have a lot of you're coming out of a place of worry, out of a place of overthinking uh, in a scenario uh, because your your mind, you're getting some new information and you might be online, you might be researching even social media to get more information, but you have victory here, which is really great. So yeah, your imagination in the month of April, while I'm a big supporter of creativity and imagination, in this case, it's great to question it. It's great to question is this just the hamster on the wheel driving me nuts or are these things true? Um, and it looks like you're successfully doing that with the page of swords, which is fresh ideas, fresh communication. It's a sword, so it's all up here. It's in our minds. It's also in, uh, in it's conceptual and it's um, analytical and it's all about the talk. It's all about the communication. What do we got these five of wands about? Flying out, we got the two of wands. I think you're going to be stepping. Um, let me, let me. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Wow, happy, happy, happy. So I think you're going to be finding another route around competition or conflict in April. So there's this intense energy to move forward, but the way you do that might even surprise you. And I think you're being um, influenced heavily by this Knight of Cups. You do have an admirer. So my ear just started ringing. You have somebody who's different from you. They're a little more feely, sensitive, intuitive. That's what they place. You're intuitive as well, but this is where they place their va they, their own value is into their creativity, their intuition, their they're nurturing and they're they're romantic and um if this is a romance reading you know i gotta be real i cannot tell if it's a romance reading and or not 
And I don't know if it really matters because the energies are the energies. This is, le this is leading you into a really good place. This person is a very different energy than your entire reading here. This reading is like you have, this is an interrupter. He's a, he or she is an interrupter. And they're interrupting it with peace and grace. And <sighs> this is <sighs> peace, harmony, grace. So you're finding another way to move forward, but not necessarily through the, the typical route, through conflict or through uh, um, competition. You're looking at your future a little differently. You're making new kinds of plans. With this Five of Swords, you're coming out of conflict. That any of this prove it, right or wrong, who's right, who's wrong, prove yourself, that energy came out like upside down. You are taking a sidestep from it all. So for some of you guys, this is family drama. This is somebody who steers you away from family drama. Some of you guys, you might be seeing competition around your your work, um, what you do. And all of a sudden, it, it just doesn't have power over you in the same way. And it, it, you're not going to give up your path. You're, I mean, you're not going to give up your goals. No, you're just like you've got a whole nother energy that swallows you whole and um, and it gives you another route. Knight of Swords, happy, wonderful. There is a communication that's coming in that's going to make you very, very happy. <laughs> it's a stroke of good luck. Wow, you guys, I hope you, you've stuck with me this far because you're Initial spread was like <sighs> charged up with all this energy and competition, conflict, and then it's like, whoa, it just changes. I think you're going to be surprised. The wheel changes. It brings a stroke of good luck. This is your karmic change. This is all meant to be when, when you get the wheel of fortune, and you are going to be so, so happy. This is very fast-moving communication. It's almost like um, it's urgent, needing needing to, and almost a little impulsive. So whether this is your Knight of Cups coming towards you, needing to, to get some stuff off their chest, like, hey, I've got feelings for you, or hey, I really believe we can create something here together. Um, and then we have the energy just goes super fast. This is triumphant energy. The chariot rules over, can or it's ruled over by cancer. And it's like, let's take the good with the bad and just move forward. You know, it's like the uh, chariot is moving too fast to get stopped by a pothole. And so, and the good and the bad uh, is is represented by the, the black and the white sphinx. And I don't mean good and bad things are going to happen to you. I mean, like, nothing's going to stop us type of feeling. Um, what's the star card in reverse? Ace of Pentacles, the Empress. Wow. So you're going from a place, I think you're going to look back and you're going to realize, whoa, I was really depleted because now I'm feeling abundant. Actually, this is literal abundance, possible like money, gifts coming in. This is abundance coming in. This is another hugely abundant card. The Empress is the is the embodiment of abundance. It's growing something small into something large, which is why she's symbolized by a pregnant woman. Let's uh, get a new deck here because we already got so many cards out. We've got King of Swords upside down. Who's this meanie? Who is this meanie? Flipping but not flying. We've got the, the Queen of Wands, which represents your energy. Okay. Transformation. Balance is restored after disappointment. Somebody was a jerk, you guys. It could have been somebody in your family, somebody that you go way back in with. You don't have to be related to them, but they could be a friend or a lover that you just go way back uh, with. And um, I think you're getting this transformation, like a rebalancing from this place of disappointment. This looks like healing. I wouldn't be surprised if the Six of Swords flew out. This has to do with, I think at one point, it seemed like there was so much potential with the, the Ace of Wands. Came, in, came out upside down. That ship has sailed. And this is really that that understanding, that acceptance, that, you know, uh, it would have happened. If it was meant to happen, it would have happened. If that opportunity was meant to flourish and grow, it would have. But guess what? You have a different opportunity. You have a very different type of individual standing before you who urgently wants to tell, communicate something with you. 
vice versa. You may want to talk to them. It's leading you straight into the arms of happiness, straight into the arms of a stroke of good luck. The wheel changes direction. Your whole life is changing direction and it's picking up speed with the chariot card. So you are coming out of five of pentacles energy. This is getting back on your feet. This is, if you felt a sense of scarcity with either even feeling misunderstood with people around you or loved ones, this is becoming understood again. If you felt like your bank account was depleted, you didn't have enough money, this is becoming um, affluent and abundant again. High priestess energy, you're highly in tune to your intuition. Yeah, so, you know, there is a big sense of, like, not drinking the Kool-Aid anymore with this reading. Um, and somebody has galloped into your field of vision with their heart on their sleeve, and they're changing your perception of your environment. And the moment your perception changes, everything follows. People might be treating you a little bit differently you also get closure somewhere with an individual who is a jerk. They were. You're getting in tune to your intuition. It's a glow up, you guys. Okay, general message tying it all together. Big shake up. Yeah. Big shake up. Something sudden that, that one didn't expect. A tarot wants you to acknowledge, to know that you are put on de your defense you know, like you're in that back in that place of conflict. Um, yes, I'm right about this. This is like um, maybe you're working through something, processing that happened suddenly and it threw you off your game, the four of swords upside down and misaligned you. And so Tara's bringing this as a one of your final messages to tie it all together to remind you that when you get the tarot card, tower card, anybody gets the tower card, you are you only have an option of what how do i react to this so you didn't bring this on into your life and tara wants you to know that anybody would be doing their best to stay above water this is dog paddle right this is paddling as fast as you can to kind of just deal with everything coming at you the change coming at you so be kind to yourself right um let's get an oracle card out this is from the vintage wisdom oracle deck beautiful illustrations Highly recommend checking it out for our Aries. This is it. Dreams. So there's our illustration. And I'm going to read to you a little bit from the book here. So dreams. Why is dreams coming out? The dream card signifies that now may be a time to make a significant decision or to rethink your direction and make some changes, which however small could lead to a larger things like abundance. The inclusion of dreams in any equation can make the difference between a good decision and a great one. Be aware of the power and potential that this card invites you to explore by investing your time a little differently and daring to dream. In the words of Sarah Bon Brethnick, Brethnick? If you guys know that name and I'm butchering it, let me know. The world needs dreamers and the world needs doers. But above all, the world needs dreamers who do. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Please say hi, reach out, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Talk to you soon.